for Christmas. I put mustard on my turkey Sammy. But yeah, that's everything. <sighs> What's up? <laughs> Good morning. Today is January 3rd and I would have been starting my third windmill. No, no, no. And I would have been starting my winter quarter of college right now if I was still in school but I graduated at the end of 2023 so I'm all done with school I don't have any school to go to today so what the fuck do I do with my life <laughs> I'm kind of kidding but kind of not don't get me wrong so excited to be done with school but it is kind of like oh shit <laughs> It's getting real now, kind of. Since I'm not going to school, what am I doing? <laughs> Since I'm not going to school today though, I figured I might as well have a nice productive day, get some sh out of the way that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise if I was going to school today. And something else, it is a new year obviously, and I'm just like going into a new era of my life you know, and I've been wanting to do this for like ever and I've gone back and forth with it, but I wanna establish an actual morning routine. Like I get up out of bed, instantly go film my Stanley, instantly come to the bathroom, do my business, and then start washing my face, brushing my teeth, and just feel like I'm set to go for the day, you know? Already went to the bathroom, Stanley's already filled up. So we're gonna wash my face and brush our teeth. I'm still like half asleep if you can't tell. I got these little things for Christmas. They go on your wrist when you're washing your face like that. And then you don't have like water dripping down your arms, which is so nice. Cause I'm wearing my Uggs a lot of the time when I'm washing my face. And the amount of times that water's drip down onto them while I'm washing my face. And then I've had to run to the kitchen to go put cornstarch on them. It is really annoying. Ugh, I need my headband. This headband's from Ulta too. Not that anybody asked. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting rejuvenated by the second. I definitely do not wash my face first thing in the morning every day, but I really need to start, like I said, I wanted to because, oh my God, I feel like five times more awake. I got this new mouthwash from Target yesterday. It's the TheraBreath Sparkle Mint Mouthwash. I feel like I've been seeing this brand of mouthwash like all over social media. And so I decided to pick one up and I got the pink one because it's pink. I only used it last night, but I do have to say, I feel like I like it a lot more than mouthwash that I've used in the past because it doesn't make me feel like my mouth is burning like it's super over minty i feel like a lot of the time with like crest mouthwash like i literally will have it in there for like 10 seconds and i feel like i instantly have to spit out because my mouth just feels like it's burning i didn't really get that vibe with this one but i only tried it once so let's see again all right i feel all refreshed so let's go do my morning skincare gotta move my chair down <laughs> i'm seriously so in love with this new makeup mirror it's definitely one of my favorite christmas gifts oh my god wait <laughs> this is definitely a vlog and did i even like introduce myself to the new channel i definitely didn't i'm using the cerave hydrating toner just got this yesterday also i've never used toner before but i'm incorporating it into my 2024 makeup routine and yes i do have disposable or not disposable reusable makeup wipes from amazon these are on my amazon storefront in the bio oh my god i still haven't introduced myself i'm sure a lot of you already know who i am like how i'm introducing myself to you while i look like this great but my name is jack or i guess my legal name first name is jacqueline a lot of you actually didn't know that which i think is so funny I think a lot of people actually thought that my name was Jack. That's a nickname, <laughs> which is also a nickname from Jackie, which is a nickname from Jacqueline. So my actual first name is Jacqueline, hence the channel name, but nobody calls me that. Everyone calls me Jackie or Jack. Y'all mainly know me as Jack. I obviously have my Green Mama stoner page over here on YouTube. And I decided for 2024 that I wanted to start a vlog channel. So that's what we're doing. And I'm already loving. 
couldn't even though it's going kind of rough considering i'm just now introducing myself felt like it wasn't really necessary because i feel like a lot of y'all are coming over from my green mama page so y'all already know me but i'm hoping to attract a different audience over here maybe since this will be different content than my green mama channel you know oh and i'm using the origins ginseng i don't know if that's how you say it refreshing eye cream to brighten and deep puff i used to use this stuff in high school i think my like sophomore and junior year of high school i used it and i ran out and then ended up never getting any more and i saw it on the sephora app when i was doing some christmas shopping and i was like holy shit why don't i use that stuff anymore i used to love it and so i asked for it for christmas <laughs> and i've been loving it ever since and this will last me a really long time too because it's like obviously filled up and i use just like the tiniest little dot under my eye and just work it around y'all saw like to let my eye stuff dry a little bit before i put my moisturizer on or else i feel like i'm just rubbing it all around oh my god my nose is also running like crazy i don't know why and then of course the cerave daily moisturizing lotion i also also use their cleanser. CeraVe is obviously my go-to using their toner too. And I saw this recently over on my Green Mama channel because I did Vlogmas to end off 2023. Pretty sure I did my skincare routine somewhere in those. <laughs> and I added a disclaimer in because I get comments and questions sometimes asking about my skin and how it's so clear and everything like that which thank you, I really appreciate that. But full disclaimer, I am on birth control, which does help keep my skin very clear in how it is. I'm not very confident that without the birth control, my skin would still look like this, especially considering when I like stopped taking it to start my period, my skin definitely starts breaking out. Granted, that's also hormones and just my period, but <laughs> I'm not 100% confident that without the birth control, my skin would still look like this, so. Full disclaimer there. And that is my full skincare routine. I will also add in sunscreen, but I mainly only like to do this when I'm doing makeup. And I know that you're supposed to wear sunscreen every day, but this specific sunscreen that I have, I want to find a different one for like everyday use. And let me know if you guys know of like a good one for everyday because I do really like this e.l.f. Skin Sun Touchable one. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for like the Super Goo sunscreen. And it has like a slight little tint to it, which is nice, but I feel like it just makes me feel so like greasy and oily and I know that sunscreen kind of just does that in general but I feel like there has to be a sunscreen out there that doesn't make you feel all just like slimy and greasy and oily you know so if you guys know of a good like everyday sunscreen let me know I do really like using this under my makeup because it makes me look super glowy and I feel like it makes my makeup go on really smooth but for just like every day when I'm not wearing makeup it's I don't think it's the MILF. So let me know down below what y'all's favorite sunscreens are. I said I wanted to have a productive day though, and that is what we're gonna do. It's January 3rd, like I mentioned, and I have a couple of things on my to-do list that I wanna get out of the way. I wanna put away all the Christmas decorations because we do still have them up. I was gonna take them down yesterday, and then I decided, no, I'll keep them up for one more night so that we can all enjoy them for one last time before they go away until September. <laughs> clean the bathroom and under the bathroom sink, clean the hallway closet, and then vacuum the stairs. So I don't think that will all take me too long, but it also might, I don't know. But I really wanna get all of that stuff out of the way as soon as possible so that I just have the rest of the day to do whatever I want. We're gonna get into that right now. Starting with putting away the Christmas decorations. Just took my hair out, but I'm gonna put it back up. <laughs> Poinsettias are not my thing.
Oh my god, that definitely took way longer than I wanted it to. And I've only taken down the Christmas decorations. I'm gonna put on a different sweatshirt though so I don't get this one ruined and I'm gonna start on the bathroom. Okay, I took down, okay, wait, no. I did not take down those decorations, but all the other decorations are taken down. I cleaned the bathroom also, but I didn't clean under the sink or the hallway closet or next to the stairs, but that's okay. I'm gonna do that stuff tomorrow probably. But now I'm really freaking hungry. I posted a new video on my Green Mama channel and went live like as it was going up. And so, oh shit. And so, um, oh, did I not wrap this up good enough? No, it feels okay. And so I went live as it was going up and smoked and now I'm really hungry. So I am going to make a turkey sandwich with Doritos with the bread that I made last night because I did get a bread maker for Christmas and this was my first successful loaf, first loaf that I actually made and it turned out to be a success which made me very happy. Now I was going to put it in Ziploc baggies and then realize that we don't have any. So yeah, that's why it's wrapped up like that. And if I'm standing like this, it's because it's freaking freezing in here. I just turned the heater on because I realized how cold it is. I had to order a bread slicer because when I was trying to slice this up last night, it was not going good. This is some pretty thick bread. <laughs> it's very dense. This might be too much bread for a Sammy, but whatever. These two pieces seem pretty good. But like, look at that. I made that shit. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put mustard on my turkey Sammy. Usually I don't do that, but I'm gonna put mustard New year, more new foods. Oh, birthday party at the Y. That's so cute. My boyfriend's looking through like old pictures. He like got a hard drive full of old pictures and he's looking through all of them. And they're so cute. They were literally making me cry. Oh, so maybe shake it up more. I think it does. I was gonna do my makeup today and then decided I. Too. I'm definitely going to tomorrow. Even if I'm not doing anything, just for funsies. All right, and then I'm adding turkey. And I'm gonna take some burritos and put it on top. I don't know if we're gonna do it today for sure or not, but we might go to Walmart to get some stickers for journaling slash scrapbooking. I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys on here or not already. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. And then also possibly go to Home Depot because it's right next door to get some paint swatches because I am going to paint the wall in my room and my closet this month. I am determined. This better be the the best sandwich of my life. I think it's gonna be very bready though. Alrighty, <laughs> get off the fat pieces. Let's go eat lunch. It needs more mustard, but it's so good. Mmm, it is a little too bready, but it's still so good. The bread tastes so much better than regular bread. Yay, me. I'll definitely show you guys my bread machine in action. It is seriously so cool. We ended up going to Home Depot and Walmart like I said I was going to and I ended up getting a lot more than I thought I was going to. So I'll give a little haul when we get home. And we're also going to have BLTs for dinner and I actually have a loaf cooking at home right now. Hopefully it turns out good since it's only the second one that I've made. But yeah, the plan is to have some BLTs tonight with my homemade bread. Oh my gosh, BLT with fresh bread. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little crispy just warning you. It might cut up your mouth, so be careful. <laughs> it's really good stuff. Mm. Oh 
I wanted to give y'all a little holo of what I got earlier because I did get some fun stuff. I got a lot more stuff than just this, but it was just like groceries for the house, nothing too exciting. And I do wish that I vlogged when I was out because I was out for a while and I just like completely forgot. A big reason why I want to get a vlog camera this year because I feel like having a separate camera with me will just remind me to vlog more compared to just having my phone because I have my phone on me all the time. That doesn't remind me to vlog. <laughs> I guess I could try to set reminders for myself, but I've done that in the past and that doesn't help either. But anyways, let me give you guys a little haul of what I got. So we went to Home Depot. I am finally going to be painting this wall in my closet very soon. I got the swatches to get me going, give me some ideas. I decided that I'm going to paint this wall pink. I got the swatches as you can see. I'm currently leaning towards this one right here which is taffy twist i think this is the one that i'm gonna go with and with my green sign it just looks really good yeah that's gonna look so cute and i haven't decided what i want to do with my closet yet either gonna do just basic white or maybe green haven't decided though yet. Honestly, probably just gonna do white to keep it bright in here. I'm sick of the darkness coming from this side of the room. So that's what we did first. We went to Home Depot so I could get paint swatches. And then we went to Walmart because my boyfriend had to get a couple things, but I also wanted to get some scrapbooking slash journaling supplies. I think I mentioned that earlier because I wanna make it a goal for 2024 or a new hobby, I guess, to start journaling slash scrapbooking this was kind of like an impulsive new goal that i thought of new hobby that i thought of from the past couple weeks so i'm kind of skeptical on how um, committed i'll be to it but i got a bunch of supplies i have a journal coming in the mail to get me hyped so i'm very excited about it but basically i kind of want to do like junk journaling kind of like not really have like any expectations. I feel like that's kind of been my problem with journaling in the past is that I've had like expectations for myself and then I just get too overwhelmed and I'm like, no, it's not looking good enough, not aesthetic enough. I just, no. But I feel like with this new method of journaling, it's just gonna be no rules. Like whatever I want, if I wanna do like a scrapbook collage page or just dump my feelings you know like it's just gonna be kind of random if i fully stick with it i'm planning on actually like decorating my journal too which i've never done before i ordered a bunch of lisa frank stickers that are gonna come in tomorrow and i'm so excited those are gonna be so fun i used to love lisa frank still do obviously but i just haven't had any lisa frank stuff since i was like eight probably so super excited for all those stickers to come in those come in tomorrow and then my journal comes in on Friday. And I also ordered some fun pens with those too. I also got some markers today. So let me just give you guys a little haul of some of the stuff that I got. I got this Elmer's Craft Bond Permanent Tape Runner Clear Double Sided Adhesive. It's like a little like thingy, you know? <laughs> I had originally ordered one of these off of Amazon and it was like $13 and it was a different brand too. It was recommended by this girl who I've actually been watching who inspired this new idea that I have. I think her Instagram is Jordan Kelly's or something like that and her TikTok too. I'll tag her somewhere. I've seriously been so obsessed with her videos and she has like a whole Amazon storefront full of all the products that she uses and everything and she had something similar to this listed on there and I had copped it and then i saw this at walmart for like four bucks and i was like mm, you know what let me try this out first because <laughs> the other one was like 13 dollars, so i just ended up canceling that order and i'm gonna try this one out and if this one just doesn't end up being good then i'll try that one out because that's the one that she recommended i also got an exacto knife which ugh, now that i'm thinking about it i no i actually don't nope I don't have one actually. I was about to say, I think I have an X-Acto knife under my bed with all of my art supplies because when I first started college my freshman year, I was technically like an art major. I was going to a completely different school than from from the school, oh my god, from the school that I uh, actually graduated from. But the school that I was originally going to my freshman year, we had to like kind of like pick a major like right in our freshman year, which is kind of crazy. Cause at my other school, we like didn't have to pick an official major until like our junior year. And I feel like that's pretty standard. And it wasn't like our official like declared major, but we had to have like some sort of idea, like some sort of path of what we wanted to do like right in our freshman year. And I picked art, I don't know. Cause I just, 
was super into art all of high school. Did I ever take an art class? No, it was just for funsies, obviously. <laughs> and then I thought that I could just go to college and take college level art classes and be fine. That was really scary. I struggled really hard my first semester in those classes and then ended up dropping out. Not dropping out of school, dropping out of the art stuff. <laughs> I was like, I'm done with the art stuff. <laughs> Anyways though, I got kind of sidetracked. When I had originally done all that, I had to obviously get a shit ton of art supplies to do my art classes and stuff. And there was an X-Acto knife that I had to buy. And I was about to say, I think I have an X-Acto knife under my bed with all my art supplies. But over the summer, I completely decluttered my room and I got rid of all of my art supplies because I hadn't used them in the past four years. And I was like, I'm pretty sure there's somebody who would actually use these more so I donated them and sure enough months later I ended up wanting an exacto knife but that's okay it was only like four bucks and now I actually have a purpose for it so yeah I got an exacto knife to cut out things I want to try to get like magazines and newspapers and use those like in my journal and stuff like that and I also just want to start reading magazines again because I used to love magazines when I was younger and I feel like magazines aren't like really a thing anymore but they're still printed out i still see them at the grocery store and stuff like that so i want to start cutting stuff out and putting it in my journal and scrapbook and stuff my plan right now is to i feel like i'm talking with my hands a lot like what the heck but my plan right now is to get my journal try to stick with that for a little bit and then once my birthday rolls around in february if i'm still into it really digging it and I'm gonna probably ask for some scrapbooking stuff for my birthday and then at the end of winter I want to do like a winter scrapbook you know for the past season I think that would be so fun I want to try to start small you know just start out with journaling for the month or two and then if I'm still committed in a while then I'll do a full scrapbook so that's my plan but anyways I'm getting sidetracked again I also got these Crayola super tips markers I think I've gotten these before too and ended up getting rid of them so <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen again with all this stuff but if it does it's whatever it's just fun to start new hobbies but Jordan also recommended these on her Amazon storefront she likes to use these for like calligraphy which I also want to get into these seem like a cheap easy alternative to try and get into some like fun marker calligraphy stuff so I wanted to get these and then I also lastly got some pastel craft not craft pastel scrapbook paper just like a whole book of a bunch of different colors and I want to use these to like rip out and put in my journal and use as like fun little borders and stuff like that. I have visions <laughs> but yeah that's everything all the fun stuff at least that I got today. I'm so excited to be able to start using everything. I just really need my journal to come in the mail which isn't happening until like Friday. Ugh still gotta wait like one more day. It's okay. I can survive but yeah i don't know if i'm gonna end this vlog off here or keep vlogging tomorrow we'll see but i feel like today was a good first day of my new era in life today is technically like the first day of like the new era new time in my life because i would have been starting school today like i mentioned earlier and i didn't like it's not happening it's a new time winter break's officially over and it's time to party that doesn't make any sense <laughs> what game are you playing it's called the finals it's a new game that just came out recently oh it looks like fortnite wait but now it looks like call of duty yeah it's kind of like call of duty whoa 